Bilingual Dreams from Querétaro. One. All I want this afternoon is the coolness of the salana against my cheek as I lie on my bed, looking out the window at white clouds so close in the Mexican sky, I want to reach up, want to touch when they dissipate into blue. The amber light enters, slides down the wall to the sounds of the street that rise up through my curtains on the second floor. The sounds of cars honking, speeding up, slowing down, the click, click of someone's champa slapping the sidewalk pavement, the jingle of a vendor's bicycle bell as he pedals through our colonia, his voice long and stretched. Eh, lo, te. Two. I reach up for the handle, pull open the door, the hinges call out, cutting through the afternoon quiet. Grandma Ella sits in our living room watching as the world turns, looks down the hallway to where I stand. ¿Qué estás haciendo? she asks. The door closes. I reply, nada. <coughs> Three. I was intimidated by my own last name, by the R that must roll quickly into a percussive T. It came out of my young mouth, inadequate and diluted. My father would ask me to repeat his name, repeat his name over and over, rolling his R's in a trill. I would try, try to make my thick tongue light and airy. Four. The room is dim, with morning slowly separating the darkness, and you lie with eyes slightly open, hovering in that space between consciousness and sleep, that delicious time when your dreams still linger on your mental palate. You want to savor this morning, that dream, your first in Spanish. You want to remember the way it feels to dream in your second language, just as you relish each sense of satisfaction you get whenever your first subconscious thoughts are not in English. You came here to grow a new tongue, to feel words in your mouth, run them along the enamels of your teeth and bite down on them. You learned to roll your R's this fall, biting down on a pencil you inhale deeply, deeply. Air, you push air fast against your tongue, using physics to make it ripple, resonate, teaching it to fly.